Hi guys, I'm Lauren, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do the typewriter effect using Premiere Pro, but first, on the off chance that you've clicked on this video and you don't actually have Premiere Pro, but you still need to know how to do this effect, please feel free to skip forward in the video where I offer you a much quicker and easier version of this effect using Veed. Okay, with that said, let's head back to Premiere. All right, so we need to open Premiere Pro and import our footage. So we're gonna head to File in the top hand corner, scroll down to Import and choose the video file that we want to add this effect to. Now that's loaded in the bottom left hand corner, we're just going to drag it into our timeline. Next, we're gonna click T for the type tool. So click on your footage and just type out whatever it is you want it to say. Now on the timeline, you will see our text layer above our video layer. We're just gonna extend that to the end of the clip just so that it stays on screen for the entire duration. Currently, this font doesn't really fit the typewriter vibe, so we need to change that. We need to increase the size and we need to center it in the frame. So to do all three of these, we're gonna highlight it first. We're gonna to head to the effect controls panel and now where it says text, we're gonna click that arrow there. Here we can change the Minion Pro font for a typewriting font and we're gonna increase the size. So I'm gonna go 130, I think. Now to center the text, we need to open the Essential Graphics panel. So to do that, you're gonna click Windows, scroll down to Essential Graphics and click Edit. Now under Align and Transform, we wanna click the first two squares and that will put your text slap bang in the middle of the frame. No guesswork here, it will be centered. Okay, and while we have this open, we can actually change the color. We can add an outline by clicking on the color panel next to Stroke, choosing our color and increasing the number. Cool. Now we're happy with our text. We can close this panel just to free up some workspace. Let's click the three lines beside essential graphics and click close panel. Now we need to animate our text. So we're going to drag our playhead to the end of the clip. And now under effect controls next to source text, you will see a stopwatch. So we're gonna click that and that will create a keyframe which will appear as a diamond as you see here. We're basically working backwards here. So with each keyframe we create, we're gonna delete a letter. And when we play it forwards, it's gonna appear as typewriting on the screen. So we need to now go back a couple of frames. So to do that, we're gonna click the arrow back under the clip just three or four times. Now you're gonna click on your text and delete the last letter or number, whatever it is that you've wrote. And you can see that's created a second keyframe. So we're just gonna repeat these steps all the way through. So again, one, two, three, four, and delete. And one, two, three, four, and delete. I'm just gonna fast forward here so I don't bore you. And now, if I play it back, you'll see it appears on the screen as a typewriter effect. However, there's something missing. <laughs> In my humble opinion, the difference between a good editor and a great editor is just the little touches. So I think if we add a typewriting sound effect here, it's really gonna make it pop and give the whole typewriter vibe. So I promise you it's gonna make a big difference. Let's try it. Now, you can actually get free sound effects online using Mixkit or Pixabay. I've actually got my audio all ready to go here. I just need to import it. So same as before, you can either hit file or import, or you can use these shortcuts for Mac and for Windows. All right, now you can see it's uploaded. We're going to drag it in the timeline below our video, but because the audio is much longer than my video, I need to trim the excess. Also, there's no audio at the start of this sound effect, so I'll have to remove that too. By clicking C on the keyboard, I activate the razor tool, and now I can make cuts to the clip, and to remove the excess part, I just need to click on it and hit delete. So I'm gonna hit V to deactivate the razor tool. And I'm just gonna drag the audio clip to where the first letter appears on the screen. And now if I play it back, we've got the full typewriter effect. Okay, before we export, we need to render our footage. So to do that, you're gonna to head to the top where it says sequence, click render into out. And once that's done, hit file, export and media. And here you just type in whatever you wanna call your video and hit export. And that's it. That is how you create the typewriter effect using Premiere Pro. Okay, so I know that seemed a little lengthy, probably a little complicated. So as promised, I do have a much easier version for you and a much faster version too. It's called Veed. And if you click the first link in the description below, I promise you it's dummy proof. Thank me later. Okay, now we're in Veed. We need to upload our footage. So we're gonna click create a new project, upload media, choose the video file. Next, click text in the left hand column, click headline title and type in whatever it is you want it to say. We're gonna change the font to Fira code. It's basically the closest one to the typewriter font. And while we're here, we can also change the color. And if we click more options, we can add an outline by clicking outline filled. Now to change the size, we are gonna drag the sides and the corners in and out. And once we're happy with the text, we can then click animation. And here you can see we've got loads of other effects such as pop, slide up and block. But for the purpose of this video, we're gonna stick with typewriter. And just like before, we need to add our sound effects. So to do this, you're gonna hit media here in the left-hand column, hit upload a file and select the typing sound effect. 
it will automatically appear in the bottom bar. So now we need to trim it to fit the clip. So we're gonna drag the play ahead to the point that you wanna make your cut and click split. Click on the part you wanna remove, right click on your mouse and then select delete. And now we can drag our audio clip forward and play the clip to see where we wanna make the final cut. Make sure your audio track is selected and just do the same as before. Right, that's perfect now. So we're going to render and export. So click export in the top right hand corner, choose render settings, click export once more. Give it a minute here to render and watch it through just once, just to make sure you're happy. And lastly, download and download MP4. And that's it. That is two ways you can create the typewriter effect, one using Premiere Pro, the other using Veed. I really hope you found this video helpful, guys. If you did, go on and give us a like, subscribe for more editing content, and leave any questions or comments down below, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.